Okay, yesterday I got a few questions about the dart cap. The dart cap's a very, very special cap. It's a real cork sniffers, connoisseurs kind of thing. Uh, sorry it's not focusing well. I'm actually taking a picture of the window here. Just doing a quick uh, through the window here on Fifth Avenue. Just with that. See, we got the uh, flat iron buildings over here. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, this is a flat iron. Let's we'll see, but there it is. And then we got the Empire State Building right up there. It's pretty cool, right? about the old dark cap. Uh, this is a very hard to find shape. It's actually an ivy cap, but it's super wide and it has these things called dark sun side, like these little points. Sort of little pleats, like one, two, three, four, five points in the back. See how it's like a five pointed star on top? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. So those are the darts, they're like little pleats. And then if you fold this uh, peak, you know, you give it a nice round shape, kind of like a round baseball cap shape, it gives it the most authentic, like, turn of the century, 1920s, 1930s, Duke wearing suspenders uh, in a black and white picture kind of thing. You know, like those old caps that you always see in like old movies, like, uh, I don't know, Civil War guys, like hanging out on the plantation, whatever, wearing some like, old cap and, and like those short pants that stop at the knees. Those kind of golfy looking old things. This is one of those. It's an extra wide ivy cap made of really, really nice tweed. It comes in a bluish, a brownish, and a grayish uh, heron bone. And um, it's got like a one little point in the middle where, it, where it's sewn and then two, actually three points in the front where they sew to the peak. I think if you remove the two outside stitches, it gets a really cool look like it's snapped down. So you can cut the two outside stitches and leave the middle stitch on the peak. Um, it's a great modification. It just makes it look a little bit more like a snap down peak. And if you want to just keep it like, you know, nice and neat, just leave the three stitches in the front. But anyway, the dark cap is something you're not going to find anywhere. I believe, where do you get these from? Portugal? We search the world over for caps like this. Finally, we find a company called City Sport. They make really cool, unusual things in amazing quality tweeds and herring bones. And they made a dark cap for us. Uh, so this is like, yeah, you put this on with like some, I don't know, bag of chinos or something, suspenders. You can wear anything, you look like instantly cool. You're like that cool Hollywood dude, whatever, I don't know. Peaky blinders, but without the button on the top. Which I think is cool. Uh, not everybody is into the button, but if you do like a bag-looking period cap that doesn't have that kind of Irish button kind of look, um, that's this. Dark cap isn't super baggy, it's just a little flat and baggy, but stays low. You can put a little paper in there and puff it up if you want, like I did here, um, but it's a, kind of a flat and baggy shape, not like a poofy high shape, hard to explain. It's like a low, low slung cap. But the dark cap is uh, brand new. We have, I think, three colors. Maybe four. I think three. Um, that's it.